You may soon see prices on advertisements for prescription drugs. That would be a major change for the drug industry, and a lot of people are very much against it. Obviously, some are for it to try to drive drug prices down. Let's talk about this with Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar. Mr. Secretary, thanks for coming back to Special Report. Great to be here with Brett. What's the proposal here for this regulation? So what the president is proposing is that drug companies would have to put the list price of their drugs in their TV ads. So that way people know how much a drug costs when they go to see their doctor, whether it's a $50 drug or a $5,000 drug. They can factor that into the discussion they're going to have with their doctors. The president said in May he wanted to bring this kind of transparency and accountability to the drug industry so that he could bring drug prices down. He's delivering on that today. So in addition to the guy that talks fast at the end of the commercials that says, you know, all these bad things can happen to you, they would say, and by the way, it costs you 5000 bucks. This will be in print. It'll say right there in print, this is the list price of this drug, what the monthly cost of this therapy or the course of therapy will cost, right there. And the purpose being competition. Uh, the purpose is competition. The purpose is the patient in the driver's seat, knowledgeable with critical information. Where else in our world do we go in and try to make a purchasing decision and we don't know the price of the product? We're bringing that transparency so you know it. And pharma doesn't want you to have this information. They've fought us, and President Trump is moving forward with this anyways because he believes the patient ought to be at the center and have this information, and drug prices ought to come down. You know that this midterm election, a lot of Democrats are running on the issue of health care. Uh, drug prices as well. But you look at Fox poll number two on health care. Should the government insure more people, spend more? 64 percent. Um, Fox three, president's handling of health care. Uh, approve, disapprove. 38 percent approve, disapprove, 52 percent. And which party would do a better job on health care? Democrats, 49 percent. Uh, Republicans, 34. I want you to listen to some Democrats on this issue. Arizonans can't afford their health care. Some people don't have it. Those who do have it are paying too much. That's an expensive proposition to have universal health care for everyone. To yes, it's expensive, but it is a hell of a lot less expensive than the way that we pay or fail to pay for health care in this state and in this country today. He said that we are going to weaken Medicare coverage for the elderly. That is an outrageous lie. We expand coverage to include dental care, vision care and hearing aids. and hearing aids yes right and this is really important to seniors so talk from the administration's point of view why voters should hand you the baton again in both chambers of Congress to handle the issue of health care. Well, I can't talk about the election, but what I can talk about is what we're doing to help make health care more affordable for the American people. And President Trump has been committed to making health care more affordable and bring more choice, more transparent, keep the patient in the driver's seat. People who are who are promising Medicare for all. That's one of the big ideas now people keep talking about. Medicare for all is Medicare for none. You know, these are the same people who brought you Obamacare, but this time they're not even making the promise that you can keep your health plan or you can keep your doctor because they know that's not the case. The 178 million of us who've got employer insurance, that would go away under some of these proposals. Your doctor, you wouldn't get to keep your doctor because your doctor would flee these Medicare lower rates and we'd have a two-tier system of health care where they move into a cash system outside of this Medicare. So America's seniors would lose their doctors, they could lose their hospitals, they could lose the care they've got. You know the Democrats say those are all scare tactics and talking points and they look at the costs and people are, you know, you ask people and they're afraid of what's going to happen next. I mean, what is the administration doing now? Now, with Congress or without Congress, to change that dynamic. Well, that's why the president's been so committed to trying to bring health care costs down, whether it's drug costs, which he's getting down, and we're just continuing to progress step by step through to get drug costs down, or on health insurance, where we're dealing with the failed Obamacare program. For the first time ever, Obamacare plans, the benchmark premium is down almost 2% under President Trump's leadership because he's stabilized the market. It's still unaffordable. It's still insurance people don't necessarily necessarily want, but he's at least stabilized it and price came down for the first time ever. President Trump, who campaigned to get rid of Obamacare, is doing a better job managing Obamacare than the guy who wrote the bill. 
I want to ask you one more question about the border. Uh, the president, in the interview with 60 Minutes last night, suggested that the separation policy is under review with parents and children. Do you know where that stands tonight? Well, our immigration policies are completely broken in this country, and Congress has got to act. The president has called on Congress to fix this broken immigration system. Now, we at the Department of Health and Human Services, what we do is receive children who come into this country unaccompanied migrant children who've come in here illegally they're given to us to provide a safe and secure environment and what we do is we work to find them vetted sponsors usually these are family members already in the country while they await their adjudication proceedings that's the role of HHS do you know that. where your numbers are tonight uh, we're we have over 13,000 unaccompanied alien children in our custody right now because of this broken immigration system that is drawing these children to come in this country they make they make this horrible journey to try to get into this country they come in illegally and they're given over into our custody and we've got to find a place to place to put them into sponsorship here. But with their parents right now? No, they come unaccompanied. These 13,000 are kids who come into this country by themselves and then they're given into our care and we've got to try to find them sponsors here in this country while we await the broken immigration system to finally adjudicate their case. Mr. Secretary, we appreciate your time. You're welcome back anytime.